Hello everyone, it's Child of Zeus here, and in this video I'm going to be showing my Hellenic altar, or shrine, whichever you want to call it. And I know I don't upload very much on this channel, so I'm sorry, I just don't really have much to upload about. But I did say I was going to make a video of my altar in a previous video, or actually in my last video on this channel. So I'm finally doing that. So this is my altar. I know it's really small. I don't have a lot of room. I just have my bedroom and it's a small bedroom. So I don't have like a lot of room for a big altar. So it's just this, you know, little table for now. I want to get a bigger table sometime. But this is the only thing I have right now. So I don't have a lot on my altar. Um, this is just what I keep on it all the time, but like if I'm doing a ritual or something, I might like, you know, add, I add, um, tools and stuff that I need for the ritual, but this is just how I keep it, you know, just all the time. So starting here is my incense holder, I guess it's called, you know, what I use for my incense to hold the incense. And yeah, it's just a wooden one. It has stars on it, as you can see. Um, this little bowl right here, I mainly use for kernips or um, lustral water. My lustral water. Uh, I like to keep it on the altar because I like the Greek pattern it has on it. So, yeah. And this right here is my candle. This is the candle I keep on it all the time. It's not a real candle. It's just an LED you know, like electric candle. <laughs> um, that I keep that one on it all the time, but whenever I'm doing a ritual, I switch it out for a real candle. <laughs> but this is, I just keep an LED candle on it just all the time because, you know, you're supposed to keep the flame of Hestia lit. But um, obviously you can't have like a lit candle in your house all the time. So <laughs> I just keep an LED candle there. You know, just for when I'm not doing a ritual. And then here's my little offering dish. And then I have my statues. Um, these are the main deities I'm devoted to. Um, this little owl represents Athena. Since I don't have a lot of room for a bunch of statues. So I just use an owl for her since I already had that before, so it fits nicely. And then over here is Zeus. And then in the middle there is Apollon. And then right here is Aphrodite. And then on the end here, this actually isn't a statue of a deity, but I use it to represent Persephone since well, I bought it a while back, and it was listed as a Persephone statue on Etsy, but apparently it's not really her. I found out shortly after buying it, I found out it's not really her, so I just use it to represent her. Um, unfortunately, well, I've been looking for a statue of Persephone for a long time, but I haven't been able to find a real one, so... I just use that one. My search continues for a real statue of her, though. I have found a few, like, real ones of her, but they've all been, like, really big. Like, too big for an altar. Especially an altar as small as mine, so... I just use that to represent her for now. So anyway, um... That's my altar. And soon, uh, hopefully soon, I want to get a set of mini, like, mini statues of the 12 Olympians. So, like, like, each month I can put whichever Olympian we're honoring for the month, I'll put them on the altar, like a mini statue of them. But, you know, getting a set of those is really expensive, so I'm trying to save up money for a set. So anyway, um, but yeah, this is what my altar looks like, you know, just, 
daily or, you know, like whenever I'm not doing a ritual. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I'll try and make more videos soon. I just need to get some ideas, so... Anyway, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!